Okay, hey guys, my name is Cobain. We are playing the Sky Factory pack on a creative world at the moment because I'm going to be walking you through how to turn your broken ores into actual ingots. Now, it's not very easy. I'll I'll say that straight up. It's not very easy. It's very tedious. It takes a lot of these level emitters, a lot of precision export buses, a lot of import buses. It's it's pretty hard, but if you're up to the stage where you can automate something like this, and you're up to the stage that you need to automate something like this, I think you can afford this. So let's get straight on with the walkthrough. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is this massive ME automatic crafting assembly unit. Okay, so I've taught my ME system only to make the iron, the gold, and the aluminium, along with the hammer, of course, because we want to automatically refill the hammers in these things. And yes, that does work. I didn't think it would, but yes, it does. Anyway, but you can expand the system to cover all of these items here. It's not really that hard to do so, it's just very tedious. It involves adding to this tower of chests that I've got just here, and I'll explain that in a minute. Alright, so the next thing you're going to notice other than this big wall of chests here is this autonomous activator set up with a vacuum hopper here. Basically what this does is it turns the gravel or sand into the next tier down. So basically, if you put gravel there, it will turn it into crushed, which automatically gets crafted into the next tier, which should end up in here eventually. There you go, it ends up in there as sand, which then ends up in there as dust, which then gets automatically crafted and put into the pulverizer, which makes two pulverized ore, which then gets smelted into two of the ingot. Okay, so now we've explained that easy stuff, let's get on with our big wall of chests. Now this is the most complicated part, and this is the part that you are probably going to need to look over a few times. I'm going to include a world download for this map so you can have a look for yourself and just see how it works because I know it is a lot to take in in a short video. Okay, so these ME level emitters, they are waiting until there is four broken iron ore before they send a signal to this precision export bus which is set to only work with a redstone signal. This pre precision export bus has been told to craft iron ore gravel and then send it into this chest. Now we know that our ME system knows how to craft gravel because you can see it here, iron ore gravel, sitting in the molecular assembler chamber. So basically what this precision export bus does is it sends a signal to this which then crafts it and then it puts it into the chest. So from there everything in the chest right here which would only be iron ore gravel gets imported into our ME system. From our ME system it then gets exported using a precision ex export bus into our autonomous activator array which knocks it down to the next tier which in this case is sand. Now when they get to be four crushed iron ore which is what you get from the iron ore sand, this is being told to make iron ore sand out of it. Same deal as before, just with iron ore sand instead of broken iron. So the next step up is basically the same, except it's just using the iron ore sand instead of the iron ore gravel that we have here. So when four crushed iron ore end up in our ME system, this tells this to craft an iron ore sand and put it in the chest, then it gets exported then it gets imported from the chest into our ME system, then gets exported into here, which turns it into dust. Now, sorry, not dust, pulverized iron ore. Now this pulverized iron ore can't just be put into the smelter like the other pulverized iron ore from thermal expansion. No, it needs to be crafted into a block of dust. So, when we get four pulverized iron ore, it gets automatically crafted into iron ore dust, put in the chest, exported back into our ME system. Now, from there, we have a precision export bus on our pulverizer, which is telling it to get the iron ore dust, the aluminium ore dust, and the gold ore dust, and put it into our pulverizer. From there, we have a pulverizer set up so it outputs into the redstone furnace, and then the redstone furnace set up so that it outputs straight into our ME system again. Just a heads up that there is normally a 10% chance in the pulverizer that it'll create something else. So what you need to do is you just need to set up your pulverizer so that this slot here is outputting into the top. Just chuck a basic input bus on that and you are done. Now you can leave it at that if you like, except it'll only be partially automated because these diamond hammers are going to run out eventually. So what you need to do is you need to automate the process of making those diamond hammers, which took me quite a while to figure out. So to set up the automation of the diamond hammer, you need to teach your ME system how to craft the diamond hammer, and then you need to tell an import bus to craft the diamond hammer with a redstone signal. Then what you do is you set up a level emitter to emit when levels are below or equal to one, put a diamond hammer in there, and you should be set. So now I will always have one diamond hammer in my ME system so that when one breaks here, it will automatically get imported using a precision export bus and we will be fine. 
Another thing I'd like to add is when it puts that in there, it would just automatically create another diamond hammer and have it there waiting for the next one to break. Just another thing I thought I'd explain quickly because I did miss it before, is I have a vacuum hopper here sucking up the bits that the autonomous activator array drops. And that's basically just a vacuum hopper connected to three basic input buses, sorry, four basic input buses. And I put four on there because when I was putting large amounts of broken ore into it, it didn't really like it too well and the vacuum hopper filled up because the ME basic input buses can only go so fast. So you just put more on them and it gets a bit faster. Another thing to note though is make sure you don't put an input bus on this side, otherwise it will stop the vacuum hopper from sucking up the items that this one drops here. Okay, so for live demonstration purposes, I'm going to completely empty our autonomous activators. Then I'm going to put broken aluminium or broken gold or broken iron or some diamonds and some sticks into our ME system and just watch it go. As you can see, it's crafting the hammers as they get sucked out of our ME system and then it stays at one once the autonomous activators are filled up. Okay, and here you can see the level emitter is emitting a redstone signal once there is enough of an item to make a new one. Okay, so as you can see, we're just left over a little bit of crushed and pulverized ore, which is fine, and we got a little bit of pulverized ferrous metal as well. Um, but we also have 38 aluminium ingots, 42 iron ingots, and 42 gold ingots. Now, that's a lot more than if you were just to grab this, put it in a crafting table, and smelt it yourself. That's because it's being put down, the gravel's being put down into sand, and the sand's being put down into dust. Now, you have a variable rate while breaking gravel with the hammer. It can be anywhere from 2 to 4, as far as I'm aware. And if you're lucky enough, then you will get a lot more. And of course, this carries through to here, so you also get two to four when you break a single one of these. And then, of course, it is being pulverized first, which gives you exactly double what you would have had if you just chucked it in a smelter. Okay, guys, so that pretty much wraps up my walkthrough. Of course, there'll be a map download in the description, as I said earlier, so you can poke around and just have a look for yourself and see how it works. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to put it in the comments. If you found a more efficient way to do it, please make another world, upload and send me a link, and I will download it, have a look at it, and I will maybe even make a video showcasing it. Anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today. Many hours were spent perfecting this build, so if you could give it a thumbs up and maybe share it around a bit, that would be muchly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.